Hello, GD Goose Tech here back again with a tutorial this time on how to level your Ultimaker 2 build plate. We're using the Ultimaker 2 Extended for this video. Well, it's probably the same with the Ultimaker 2, but I have the Extended here with me. So, let's jump right in. I don't know if you can see because my camera is quite a different distance away. On the LCD, you have print, material, and maintenance. You want to scroll to maintenance using this wheel. And then you want to click build plate. And then I'm going to read exactly what I did with the Flash Forge video. I'm going to read to you what it says. It says, quote, I will walk you through the process of adjusting your build plate. To continue and then just get a, a, a business card or something. I, I have one with yellow because it's easier for you guys to see. Of course, you can't see the bill plate because it's 12 inches up there. Now, I'm gonna put you on top my time lapse position. This is the position I'm between time lapses in. So basically, you want to rotate the button, which I just show you the spinny thing, until it's a in, in, it's eyeball until it's a millimeter. See, I can move it. I don't know if you can probably can't see it, but it's moving up and down. You can certainly hear it. guess that's a millimeter and then over here <coughs> don't use the button this time you want to use the left build plate screw and we're gonna go handheld because that's the only way I can do it until just eyeball it again Well, I'll go. Okay, that looks good. That looks less than a millimeter. I really know it's hard. You see, there's a screw, and it's gonna ask us to go to the back most likely, and the screws there. Okay, back to our main position. Repeat this step, but now use a sheet of paper uh, to fine tune the build plate level. Use like a piece of cardstock. Now click continue again. And then now we're gonna go up top because there's a tension you feel for. This is obviously too loose. You probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'll walk you through this. That's too, that is hands down too tight. If it's making a mark in your paper, You want to take your time when you do this because it will pay off in the beautiful prints that, that you'll get out of this beautiful machine. I, I say that's good. No! Okay, it's way over here. We're out of frame. Who? Oh. Here we go, we're going in handheld again. Tightening. For 
these glass bill plates you want a looser level than what you would use for blue tape because you don't want to, you really don't want to scratch the glass scratch the glass you're 40 bucks in the hole that feels perfect and this is the last point I haven't leveled this in over a week, so I recommend glass plate or not. <laughs> if your printer has leveling capabilities and you know how to use them efficiently, Click the button again, and now build platform restores back to home. Moves down 12 inches, so you have plenty, 12 inches of space and freedom to grab that. And another thing I want to mention when you're leveling your bed, if you have glass, or depending on what, you have flash forward, what you use, clean your bed. Now. I'm going to be doing the, doubling this video with maybe uh, tips and tricks. The way you get your bed out. If you want, if you need to clean it, you need, you need to take a very, very small Allen key and tram in between the clips. No, the, the front ones, not the back ones. And you want to get in there. That way it comes all, all the way through. If you come out a bit. And you can see, you know, we're not damaging the printer. Just going to pop free. And you swing it all the way out until it's going to stop. And don't use that much force. And you're swinging it with your finger. Do the same for the other one. It might be more stubborn depending on machine. This one, it comes out easy. And then you hold on. comes out easy as pie and to reinstall you push forward make sure you're cleaning the clips again and push forward don't again no to use excessive force and then uh, now you won't need this allen key so you can go put that away Close each clip until you hear an audible click. Then glass isn't going anywhere but your Z axis. So that's build plate maintenance 101 for the Automaker 2 extended in Automaker 2 lineup. Again, I don't know about the Go. Automaker 2 Go, really. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that like button and I'll see you next time.